Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be painting on a natural rock. Now this rock was so beautiful, I didn't really want to cover it up, um, especially when it was resined. There's so many little crystals in it that just shine and glimmer um, every time you move it. But I wanted to do something fun for Easter. So this is what I ended up doing. And uh, this is the first of a few that I have already videoed for Easter. Um, but I really wanted to get this one out because it's fun and easy and uh, was really, really uh, colorful and bright. And I thought that was a, a good way to start. So um, I'm using right now my metallic watercolors. Um, these are the ones that I just happened to find uh, when I was out and about uh, in a store that I never expected to find them. Um, they're very fun and they shine so nice once they're resined and you see that I'm just sort of blobbing them on. I'm not really, I have no design, nothing like that. And I'm okay if they're transparent or a little bit opaque because some of the glitter from the rock actually shines through once I've resined it. And unfortunately the pictures at the end of the video don't show that very well, but, um, in person, it looks absolutely beautiful. So I just go around and I'm uh, just dabbing on this paint um, and uh, just putting it in wherever I want it and I let it run wherever it wants to go. Because it's watercolor, it's not going to sit where you put it unless you're very careful with it and I wasn't, I just let it go wherever. Um, and I let it dry completely. So if you want to speed up the drying process, you can always uh, use like a heat gun or a hair dryer or something like that. Um, I just let this naturally dry because I've got so many other things on the go. So I do this and then move on to the next while this one's drying, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but I thought I saw this on, uh, I think it was uh, Pinterest. I, I'm on Pinterest quite a bit. So so where I get a lot of my inspirations and I thought what a fun way to start off uh, some of the uh, Easter paintings that I have planned. So you don't have to be perfect with this which is another reason why I really liked it and it, what it ends up looking like is just a, a sketched um, Easter bunny with a little flower on it and it is so cute and then once it's resin all of those colors in the background shine through. Oh my gosh, like I really, really urge you to try this. It's so easy, so simple. You don't even have to paint it. You can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use whatever you have that's available to you. Just don't be perfect with it. Um, so as you can see, I'm using black paint here uh, by DecoArt and I'm not really worried if my paint strokes aren't the same because I want it to look like this. I want it to be um, sort of sketched. And that's what it looks like, is just a sketch. You know, when you take your pencil and you uh, draw a circle and you continue to go around and around and around and the lines get thicker and thicker, but they're not together. That's the same idea as what we're doing here. So um, now I'm just outlining where I'm gonna put the flower. And I want it sort of like on the top of his head. And you'll notice this bunny doesn't have any eyes, mouth, near, or a nose or anything like that. It's just got two little ears sticking up because I'm going to write the words Happy Easter on the inside. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm just using my black paint and my uh, small paintbrush. Um, if you want to know how to make these fine lining brushes that I use, I do have a tutorial on just that. You can um, look into the description below and I do have links to how to make my fine lining brushes. I also have one for making blending brushes if you're interested in that um, and how to resin. So all of the uh, things that you can do on your own are listed in the description below, as are all of the names and brands of paint that I use in each tutorial. Um, so lately I've been using a lot of the Craft Smart stuff. They had a big sale on there a few weeks back at uh, Michael's. 
so I stocked up on a lot of my uh, paint colors um, but I have so many other brand names as well and you don't need to use what I'm using I urge you just to use what you've got in your stash that's basically what I did ex with the exception of those ones that I just purchased um, but it was a sale I couldn't say no to <laughs> and if you're a crafter like me you know what those sales are like so <laughs> Now I'm going in um, with some white paint and I'm doing exactly the same thing as I did with the black paint. I'm just not putting in as many strokes. So it's just basically to give a little bit of highlight um, to the black strokes that I've already painted on. And I do it all the way around and I also do it on the lettering. So it gives it like a shadow, um, but it's like a reverse shadow. So it's dark on the front with a little bit of light on the back side of it. So um, that's how I wanted to do it. You don't have to. If you wanna just use bubble letters, use bubble letters. Like who am I to say you can't do something, especially when it's your own artistic um, version of this. I'm just here to give you inspiration. So just remember that it, this is for inspiration and I urge you to give it a try. Um, if there's something too that you're afraid to try and you want me to give it a go, let me know in the comments below. I'll, I'm always up for a challenge. Um, and I find that I surprise myself sometimes when I think I can't do something and I just keep on doing it and whew, there you go. It's done and turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to. Sometimes though, they are those little happy mistakes. That's a quote from Bob Ross. Um, and that's okay too, just go with the flow. Um, so I'm uh, just finishing up there on the lettering and now I'm gonna fill in the, um, the petals on the flower. And um, as I'm filling it in, uh, I just wanna take this opportunity to say thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for stopping in and checking out my channel. If you like it, give me the thumbs up. And if you really like it, make sure you subscribe. And if you really, really like it, ring that bell because it'll give you a notification every time I post something new. And you don't wanna miss when I post something new. Uh, in fact, I've got one that's gonna be coming up in a couple of days. It's part of the moon series that I've been doing. And this will be the one that I've been having trouble with. And let me tell you, it's finished. And I am very happy with how it turned out. So it ended up being really cute. Um, it was something I was really nervous about, but I did it. So I definitely urge you to stick around, ring the bell, so you get a notification for when I post that and uh, let me know what you think of it when it comes out. So uh, I'll remind you um, during the video of that video uh, to let me know uh, what you think of it but oh my gosh let me tell you it's something worth it's worth waiting for I was very 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 pleased with how it turned out um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just doing some uh, a little bit of shading but I'm not using any sponges this time so what I'm doing is I want it to be like a sketch or like a, a drawing or a color um, like in a coloring book type of thing so what I'm doing is I uh, outlined it in black, as you saw, then I painted it with pink and that pink was Pink Blast from Craftsmart. And now I'm going in with some white while that pink is wet and I'm dragging the white down and then I am dragging the pink up. So it kind of blends into each other naturally when you do it that way and you just keep going down the petal with the white and going up the petal with the pink and eventually as you can see it doesn't take that long at all uh, you get this really nice um, pale kind of color but it still leaves some shadows um, just from your brush strokes so it's a quick and easy way on uh, shading and doing things like this um, so I urge you to try that as well um, it's something that uh, I just sort of started doing and I really like it so it's better than my sponges especially when I'm doing the smaller areas of things because I don't have a really small sponge 
Um, so here I'm using uh, yellow uh, by Craft Smart, and Craft Smart paint is um, very watery. So when I put the yellow dot on there, the pink paint had not dried yet. So you'll see that it's running into the pink paint. And I left it because I thought this is exactly what I wanted um, for it to be not perfect. And with it not being perfect, it turns out being perfect, right? You understand what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me um, at a loss for words on how to describe it, but that's how I see it. It's not perfect, so it is perfect. Um, so yes, yeah, so now I am uh, going to put on some little leaves uh, just to accent it and uh, give it a little bit more of the Easter colors. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing this. It was very quick and uh, it was just a rock that I had. And um, like I said, when I resin it, it looks so beautiful. Just wait until you see it at the end. Um, and I'm just putting on some green paint. Now this green is holiday green from Craft Smart. Um, I know I said this before, but I will have everything listed in the description below. So make sure if I've forgotten something or if you want to be sure, uh, you just go down to the, to the description down below and it'll give you all sorts of really cool information. There's also links down there for other places to visit. Um, so the Happy Dotting Company, which is where I get my molds from for making my perfectly circular ro rocks or oval rocks because, you know, Mother Nature doesn't provide anything that's in perfection. So you got to work with what you've got. So there is a link for her uh, Etsy shop in my description below, as well as a link to the dotting center. That's where I get all of my uh, dotting tools from. And um, uh, there's a, a few other things uh, like Amazon links and things like that. If the links don't work, please let me know and I will make sure that I find the right one. So now I'm just sort of cleaning up the edges. I painted over top of some of the uh, outlining that I had done originally. So I'm just going back in with a little bit of black paint, my fine lining brush, and I'm just sharpening up those edges just to make it pop and uh, make it look absolutely amazing. So the center of the flower is dry now. So I'm going to add uh, a couple of black dots in there. Well, actually a little bit more than a couple, but uh, I'm just adding some dots in there to make it look like little seeds. And then it's done. Coat of resin, and it's finished. So there you have it folks, life is what you make it, so get creative. Mm -hmm.